You know, during the pandemic, like most other taxi drivers, I had to find something else to do because all the airport work dried up. I thought, do I go back to normal taxiing? No, there's no point because we've all been told to stay indoors. So what I did, I signed up for the food delivery networks, Uber Eats, Just Eat and all that sort of thing. I thought, what the hell? I'll go and bring the food to the people who are sitting at home. The process was quite easy to sign up. You download an app, you give them the information they want and off you go. Well, it turns out, actually, it can be exploited. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments and that you're well. That's the main thing. And thank you everybody for your support. Coming along, listening to me and liking and commenting and all the rest of the stuff that goes on on YouTube. It's great. Well, as I said in the introduction to this video, I had to go on the food delivery networks during the pandemic. There wasn't anything else to do and I'd be damned if I was sitting at home twiddling my thumbs living off the state. Quite an easy job really. Download an app, fill a form in, supply documentation, DBS check, uh, insurance and a few other bits and pieces and then when you get the word, away you go. No problem. It quickly became apparent to me that lots and lots and lots of other folk were signing up to Deliveroo just Eat, Uber Eats and all, all the other networks and they were getting an awful lot of the work. Well, it turns out and I found out later some of them were signing up for multiple accounts at once and sharing them between their friends and uh, monopolising the whole thing. Uh, and it goes further than that. Between the April the 16th and April the 21st, the Home Office decided to have a crackdown uh, on illegal workers and illegal, you know, people who were here illegally. And they started pulling over uh, delivery, well, drivers, stroke riders who were going around on mopeds and push bikes. Yes, you can deliver fast food like that as well. Delivery just eat and Uber Eats. And something like 60 were arrested. 60. And the offences ranged from anything from false documentation which is very very concerning although we know it goes on i have other stories about that as well and basically illegally working in the uk out of that 60 44 were detained by the home office pending deportation whether they get deported or not who knows we know the problem there and 16 have been released on something called immigration bail i have no idea what that is but there you go and you know some of the arrests uh they uncovered criminal activity as well firearms and all that sort of thing so not great at all. I wonder what impact that will have on these delivery networks going forward. Will they tighten up or will this continue? I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comments. I'm off. Uh, that's me done for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with more stuff. Toodaloo.